Alright guys, today I wanted to make a video about one of the, the world's up-and-coming young talents and that is Calvin Bassey who has recently signed for Ajax from Rangers for around the £20 million mark. So uh, that, that's quite a large fee for um, Ajax for what, what they're usually prepared to pay for a player. They, they usually pay for players um, in and also like sign them on the basis that they hope they can uh, like make a profit from that transfer which says a lot about Bassi's talents if they are uh, willing to pay 20 million pound so what is Calvin Bassi he is a player who can play centre back or left back uh, left footed obviously um, and has done so for ranges over the past couple of seasons prior to that he was at Leicester City's uh, academy and Obviously, the past couple of years for Rangers have been brilliant. In 2020-21, uh, they won the uh, Scottish Premiership. Uh, uh, I think they went unbeaten, didn't they, the whole ta the whole uh, season. And uh, last season, uh, they made a run all the way to the Europa League final, where they unfortunately lost on penalties to Eintracht Frankfurt. And Calvin Bassey was... Uh, integral especially last season but also played a good part in the uh, title winning campaign in Scotland and yeah what, what he is is he's, he's a player who is ridiculously hard for attacking players to dribble past purely because he stands them up so well makes it really hard for them to get past him and knows how to time a tackle to the millisecond um, and he's also very good with the ball at his feet. He's, he's one of these players who is quite big. He's, he's about six foot two, I think. Um, but when he's got the ball at his feet, he never looks fully comfortable. But at the same time, he never seems to lose it and does have good feet. It's, it's one of them where it's not the most. Um, he's not the most silky or smooth or um, elegant on the ball. He, he's, he's just some, somehow manages to never lose it. And uh, when when he play, plays at left back, particularly, he's very good at running all the way down to the byline and putting a cross in for uh, one of the forwards on his team. And that that worked quite a lot last season. Hence why he got uh, six assists uh, in about fifty games. And in half of those games, he was probably playing centre back. So that's not bad going. Um, and yeah, as I've already said, he, he was massive in uh, Rangers getting to the final of the Europa League last season. And yeah, for Ajax, he's he's likely to be um, a replacement for Lissandro Martinez, who has agreed to join Manchester United. Um, and also with Ajax, they like their players to be quite versatile, which Bassi suits down to the ground he could play centre back or left back as I've said and he also made his debut for the Nigerian national team uh, this year um, in a World Cup qualifier I think against Ghana um, so yeah that, that that's impressive in itself um, there's not there's not many players from the Scottish League who who make um, national like um, international appearances for countries other than Scotland really so that that is really impressive to be honest um, and yeah he, he did have the option of uh, becoming an Italy or England international but chose uh, Nigeria and I, I, I can definitely un understand why um, well I mean it, it could just be that he, he feels he represents that heritage more but also there is a more likely chance that you are going to play for Nigeria than England or Italy, especially in in uh, defensive positions. Um, but yeah, he he is a really exciting young defender, and I I think will have a very big future ahead of him. And yeah, um, if I was comparing him to a player, it's it's quite hard to think of a player. Um, I will tell you what. I'm I'm from Shrewsbury, and I watched a player a few se a few seasons ago for Shrewsbury uh, called Omar Beckles. And I, I'm not going to try and compare Bassey to Beckles because Beckles was a third tier player. He he was not a player who was ever going to be signed for twenty million by our Ajax. But their playing style is quite similar. That's all I'm trying to say. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.